If you take creatine, it will give you kidney stones. Calm, relax. It's a joke. This is one of the many myths about creatine, but I will also tell you what happens in your body when you start taking it. From the first few days until you take it for the rest of your life. Imagine you started taking creatine today. Do you know what's going to happen? Anything. When taking a creatine dose, you still need to fill your body's reservoir. You need to take it more often. We will delve deeper into this and then you will start to benefit from it. One way is to take a dose of creatine every day. Another way is to do what we call a saturation dose or saturation phase. Here, you will only take it once a day and it will take 30 days to have its effect. Here, you will take it four times a day, but you will have its effect within a week. It will depend on what you want. The saturation dose will basically provide you with this more accessible creatine storage, which, by the way, is inside your muscle. You already have creatine without taking it. Your body produces it, but it produces very little. What time of day is it interesting for you to take creatine? This is interesting because there is no ideal time. In fact, the ideal time for you to take creatine is the moment you don't forget. In this saturation phase, as you have to take it four times a day, the only recommendation I can give you is that you space it out. There is no point in taking it altogether. The idea was to take creatine with some carbohydrates with a high glycemic index for a while. This carbohydrate releases insulin in the body, and creatine has a particular affinity with insulin so that it will be better absorbed. Studies show that this actually happens, but studies observe this acutely. In the long term, no difference was observed. When I talk about the long term, guys, I'm talking about something other than that long, like a month. This makes it easier for you to take your creatine with whatever you want. If you're going to take it with water, do it. Another myth is that people say, you can't take creatine with coffee. There is a certain relationship with lower absorption of creatine when consumed with caffeine. But it's a high dose of creatine and a high dose of caffeine. This is different from what we observe in practice. When you take creatine, it goes to the stomach, then to the intestine, and from the intestine to the bloodstream where the blood goes to the muscle. And creatine provides energy. Our body will produce energy as demand occurs. And one of the first phases of energy production is through creatine. If you have a full tank of creatine, you have a lot of energy and there are now studies showing the effect of creatine with benefits even on your brain. Relating this whole part of energy, we are not just talking about a supplement that will give you more strength. It will also give you more energy for this muscle and for all the functions of your body. When you do this exercise, the muscles will have more energy. If he has more energy, he has more strength. If the muscle has more strength, you can perform the exercise with a higher load because it is more fuel. In fact, that's what happens. It won't work if you take it today and go train. There was no time to fill this tank. If you do the saturation phase within a week, this tank will be complete so that you will have more energy and strength. Otherwise, it will take 30 days for this tank to fill and for you to experience the benefits of increased strength when training. With all this creatine inside the muscle, you agree with me on a very superficial level. The muscle will be full of creatine and get bigger. It makes sense, doesn't it? Like this? I don't understand anything. But it gets more significant for another reason. Creatine takes water with it. That's why people say that when you take creatine, it's retained because creatine has an osmotic effect. People say, creatine retains water, I won't take it or I'll retain it. People use the term water retention or it's retained to refer to water right under the skin. This water is not inside the muscle. The creatine goes inside the muscle. It is the same process of retaining water, but it is in different parts of the body. So if you take creatine, yes, you will retain water. If you take creatine, will your muscles become larger? Yes. And here we even have a specific side effect of creatine because think with me. You don't take creatine and it weighs you down. When you start taking creatine, it goes to the muscle. It takes water with it. Does water weigh? Way. In other words, you will have the side effect of gaining weight. If that doesn't bother you, go deep into creatine and it won't be a problem. And studies are showing that creatine gives you greater hypertrophy. Calm down. We talked about the muscle most full of water. This is not hypertrophy. We could call this sarcoplasmic hypertrophy. Your muscle hasn't grown. It's just filled with more water. Because the word hypertrophy, scientifically speaking, means increasing. What we call the transverse section of the muscle, making the muscle bigger. So if the muscle is more prominent due to water, it's hypertrophy. But you understand, the muscle didn't grow in fiber, it's just more filled with water. There is a study showing that creatine actually provides greater fiber hypertrophy, and the muscle grows. I've always seen this in one day, I'm thinking, why does creatine increase hypertrophy? And of course, you have to take care of your diet and your training. If creatine increases strength, and you do your training with more load or more repetitions, it will increase volume load. And science categorizes this as 
increased volume load, increased hypertrophy. First, you will start taking creatine. You won't feel anything because you haven't filled the tank. Now the tank is filled, the muscle is fuller with water, and strength will increase. You went there and trained harder, and the load volume increased. Of course, you will increase hypertrophy. But do you realize that it is not a direct effect of creatine, but a secondary one? Creatine also has a side effect that some people report. It's stomach discomfort. Some people take creatine and feel a bit sick to their stomach. And depending on the dose, this can get worse. I'll give you some options if you take it and feel like it. Tip number one. The first option is to mix this creatine with some liquid that makes you feel good. I take creatine with grape juice. It works for me. The grape juice calms you down and the creatine makes you happy, but the juice holds you back so you feel relaxed. Tip number two. You split the dose. It's a bit silly. I don't have much patience for that. Be sure to share your experience with creatine here in the comments. Thank you very much for staying until the end. Stay healthy. Stay happy.